What's up guys, we are back at SSR Performance and we're doing the crank hub once again. We did it on the M4, I didn't really get to truly enjoy it as much because you guys know what happened with that car, I kind of had to say goodbye to that. But anyway, we're back with the M3, we want to get the crank hub done because we are hitting uh, Thunder Hill Raceway and Sonoma Raceway with this car. We want to make sure everything is gravy in the Navy with that car and not have any engine issues. That engine is over 10, I think $11,000, so it's better to get the crank hub done and we're set for life. So yeah guys, here is my man Shaw. If you guys don't remember him from the last video, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> What's going on bro? So we're getting the crank hub replaced. What exactly um, is in the process? Like what else gets replaced when you do a crank hub? Because yeah. when typically people just look at just the crank hub cost, like wow, that's a lot. But you guys do so much more than just the crank hub. Yeah. And on top of that, that what like a crank hub is very important in itself. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so what exactly goes down? So obviously um, the importance of the crank hub is so that the timing doesn't slip when you're going crazy with the car. Obviously, as we all know, you're gonna be taking your car to the track, man. Yes. You're gonna be going crazy on it, right? Yes. That is the optimal setting for that crank hub to just spin throw the timing off, and at that point, you're risking your entire engine. 100% guaranteed, your car's just gonna stop running, okay? Yeah. Either that is gonna run like absolute crap, or uh, to the point where it's not drivable, or two, you might spin it hard enough to actually destroy the engine. We have had cars come in from the track that, um, have that issue, right? Like where they've just blown an engine going at 120 miles per hour and they over rev it or something and boom, crank yeah. expands and engine's gone. So we're gonna replace the crank up. Along with that comes the valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket, front main seal. All uh, those expensive all repairs the, at the same time. That is perfect. Repairs. Everything's warranted. So for 10,000 miles, if you ever even see a little drop of oil coming from any of those, we cover it 100%, um, no questions asked. Um, and we double check everything, right? So on these cars, as you probably already know, the charge cooler is one of the very common areas. The charge cooler goes bad. We double check to make sure the charge cooler is still good. Mine actually was bad last time, yeah. and you found a leak in one of my hoses that yeah. I couldn't even find. Yes. So we got both of those done the last time we were yep. here, which yep. was perfect. And I think it was a coolant hose, right? Coolant hose, yeah. yeah. So we replaced the coolant hose. So now your car is going to be track ready, you know? We double yeah, yeah. check everything on the car. You know that if you go to the track, you're not going to have problems. You're not going to risk your engine. And on top of everything, you're not going to have any leaking oil, which we all know. All know. BMW is <laughs> BMW's like are known for that, bro. So uh, yeah, man, you're going to be all set to go to the track and race the hell out of this thing. I'm excited, bro. I appreciate you. You got it, brother. So pretty much like he said, guys, every single seal gets replaced. It'll be track ready. And the thing is, I don't know if you guys know about our oil pan gasket. It's not like a Civic. You have to drop yeah. the entire subframe. Correct. The labor alone is like, I, I don't know how much you guys charge here exactly, but where I've been, it's about like twelve to $1,400 just for the oil pan gasket. You guys are replacing all the gaskets. Correct. So just in, honestly, if you guys just want to get all your maintenance done, 50, 60,000 miles on your, you know, your, your car, you just want to get all your maintenance done, you might as well just do the crank up because it pretty much comes out to be like free. It almost comes out to be yeah, free. It's yeah, it's crazy. So like you're literally getting everything done with this repair and yeah. you're getting the upgraded four pin crank up, which exactly. is, it's perfect. Exactly. And like, like you said, you know, with all those gaskets comes our, our I mentioned it earlier, our warranty. Guys, as Oh yeah, that too. That's awesome. Our warranty <laughs> is beyond any other shop's warranty. We will never question. If you're a customer of ours, we're loyal to you, okay? Simple as that. We're never gonna dodge you. We're never gonna tell you, oh, well, are you sure it's coming from, nope. Bring the car by, we'll take a look, or send us a video, send us a picture, and guess what? If it looks like it's coming from anything that we've touched before, boom, we take care of it. Simple as that. All right, guys, and this is the reason why we traveled so far. <laughs> um, uh, this, this is the thing apparently that fails, which is called the crank up. Honestly, I was looking into it, and, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. I was playing around too much with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I honestly, at first, I, I I didn't even understand what this really, I, actually I still don't really understand what this thing does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just looks weird, I don't really know where it does. I know it, it, it is on uh, the main crank hub, you know, like it, it is driven by a belt, right? Um, it's gonna be by chains. Oh, by the chains. Yeah, so oh, okay, which is why this yeah. is all here. Yeah. Um, so if you can, just, just break this down yeah. for me because I'm sure everyone else has questions on this. Yeah, actually I get this question a lot, man, so it's good that we were going over it. So this is the original stock uh, crank hub. This one actually came out of one of the M3s and M4s that we just did recently. Um, and essentially what happens is it's held into the crankshaft itself with these, uh, with this crank bolt right here, right? And the only uh, force that actually keeps these from spinning uh, independently is uh, static friction. So what you, what's happening is this bolt is supposed to be in theory so uh, holding this so tightly together that it won't ever allow it to spin. That's how BMW originally designed ah, it. Okay. The use of friction um, washers or friction discs, if you want to call them, um, between each one to it's pretty much that will allow these to, to hold. You know? Yeah. Almost imagine like almost like sandpaper. You know how sandpaper you put your hand on it, you can't really move. Yeah, yeah it's right? like it's just grip. It creates friction. It's grip. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Great. Great uh, way to describe it. So. The issue is this, um, with the way the transmission works with the engine and the way the forces are actually on this piece, on these pieces here, yeah. um, sometimes 
just even on stock cars or, or even more so on modified cars with more power than stock, uh, what ends up happening is the breakaway point of that static friction is exceeded and any time the breakaway point of any static friction is exceeded by the tangential forces on this piece, uh, what's going to happen is this is going to spin independently. Why is that an issue? So pretty much this, the crankshaft obviously is supposed to always be in sync with the camshafts, right? The engine yeah. and exhaust camshafts. Now the exhaust, the camshafts themselves control the valves coming in and out of the cylinder itself, right? Yeah. So what you don't want is those camshafts to ever be out of sync from the crankshaft itself. Um, or else what's going to happen is in an air interference engine, you have the risk or the chance of the piston actually hitting the valve if it becomes out of sync, right? Yeah. Because the whole point is when the, the piston's at top dead center, where are the valves? They're closed, right? Yeah. So um, what you want is you, you want to make sure that this never spins. Now, if this happens to spin out of sync because all that torque hit all of a sudden at once and the tangential force exceeded the breakaway point of the static friction, um, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to be completely out, completely out of sync from the crankshaft um, which is a whole reason why you never want this spinning, right? So, so does that make sense? Yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm trying to understand sure. why. So this spins so easy. So I feel like this could happen like, like easily, right? right? Like yeah. Well, right now it's easy because obviously this isn't. But uh, up with against yeah, yeah. Crankshaft. But but why the, would they make this in two pieces in the first place? They're, they're that's what people are confused about. There's no real reason. I'm not sure what the reason was. Uh, I think it might have been for serviceability, possibly. Okay. Um, that it's easier to replace if something goes wrong, and whatnot. Um, I see. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but that's a question for probably like a, a high-level BMW engineer, obviously. Right? Yeah, like, it, it doesn't make much sense to me why they did that like that in the first place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's the issue with this. So, do you understand? Does that? Yeah, make sense? no, it's I'm making sure sense. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it was good. Okay. Cool. So, what we end up replacing it with instead is this piece right here. So this is our SSR Performance four pin crank hub, um, and of course this was originally the the Max PSI design, um, and we we ended up working with the facility that actually manufactures this, and we actually ended up making it a little bit better. So if you originally used to have two pins. We found that with the four pins is a lot stronger, as well as we also increased the tolerances. So actually, if I you see how tight that yeah, was? Yeah, that was really it tight. Was, it wasn't like that before. So we actually made it very tight so that. When you push it, you have to actually force it in, force there. It in there. And okay. as you can see, there's absolutely no Yeah, like no even slide. there's like the, the the tabs or whatever, like yeah. there's no way that can get out sync. Like yeah. that, that is yeah. a permanent fix right there. Correct. So we have four keys, four pins. Um, so it, it, we upgraded it from the original two pins and, and two keys that it used to have. Um, and again, as I mentioned earlier while we were talking, um, we've never ever had one of the four pin designs ever fail, ever. Perfect. Um, so how do we fix the problem? First things first, instead of having three pieces, which the original design has three pieces, we turned it to two, right? Then what we did next was we locked in, so we made this sprocket a part of the this uh, this larger mass here, and then we locked the second sprocket for the oil pump in here, right? So now you have two pieces and they're locked into each other. So as you can see, this one can't spin and this one can't spin. And then finally what we did was we added four pins on the side of the crankshaft in which we have to now drill four little tiny holes into the crankshaft itself so that these uh, four pins can actually insert into the crankshaft itself. So now you have it locked into the crankshaft, you have this gear locked into the camshaft gear, and then you have the crank hub itself actually being pushed up against with the same exact torque spec um, into the crankshaft so you have absolutely zero chance of any of these pieces independently spinning from one another. And that was our goal with this, with this uh, upgraded crankshaft, uh, this upgraded crank of design that we created. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit the fist. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. When I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these cause my lad name ain't Ken. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah.
some coffee. <laughs> oh, my tent? Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I dropped this tent a long time ago. It's always a tent, man. <laughs> You got the four pins here. A little bit more of a turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. So. It's in. Oh, that fitment though. Yeah. That's clean. So that is not going, going anyway. anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. Just pulling back up. How'd she drive? Good, good? Hell yeah, dude. And guys, we're officially back at the hotel. They did an absolute amazing job. I drove the car over here, no issues. I did not step on it whatsoever there, because I mean, I don't want to step on it in this area. You guys know what happened the last time. I'm gonna go ahead and drive like a granny all the way back home to my home city. But the work is amazing. The car sounds so perfect. There's zero leaks everywhere. And it just gives me that peace of mind that everything's been double checked. So when we hit the track day, everything is gonna be good to go. Plus that 10,000 mile warranty is gonna be pretty awesome. Not only does that cover any of the leaks or anything that happens, but if your car ends up, you know, for any reason throwing a crank because of their crank hub within the next 10,000 miles, which is almost impossible. But if it does, they will completely fix everything which means even if that crank cup blows your motor you get another motor it's absolutely insane their warranty is absolutely amazing and the reason why I love willing to give such a good warranty is because they really 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 do believe in their product and honestly them just explaining to me how the product works I honestly don't see how it ever 
ever go off timing. So I'm super excited about this. If you guys want to get your crank hubs done, make sure to mention my name. You guys will actually get a discount as well. It's a small little discount, but it's a discount. Definitely will work. So make sure to mention my name. Mention that you guys saw the crank hub installation on my channel. They'll be more than happy to give you guys a small little discount. But guys, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, if you guys just want to do all your maintenance, which is pretty much what this repair even takes care of, because you have to move your valve cover, your oil pan, all that good stuff, either front main seal, the drain, all your cool your oil, all your filters, everything that gets removed gets replaced. And honestly, all that alone will probably end up being the cost of replacing a crank cup. So if you just do the crank cup job, all that is in the way. So you have to do all that anyway. Hey guys, without further ado, make sure to check out SSR Performance down below. Guess what two other modifications you're going to be doing with SSR Performance down below. Without further ado, guys, it's going to be kind of crazy. The next two days is going to be pretty awesome. Again, two new mods put on this car and they're pretty awesome. So yeah, guys, I'm super hyped. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to Stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.